Welcome to The Meeting Underground, Season 3, Episode 5. We're going to continue our, our series on the backstage of songwriting where we look at the development of a song and we show some of the background, what made up uh, the writing of it. And particularly this week, we're going to look at the development of, of a video that we did, uh, that we shot on location here in Nashville. Today, we are in isolation because of the situation that everybody knows about. So we're shooting from different locations and we're going to put it together. And I want to thank Johnny G for, for co-hosting the show with me. And also, we're going to have a special guest, Ryan Lefebvre. And Ryan was the director on the particular video that we're talking about. He directed it, shot the video, shot the uh, camera work, set up the angles and all that. And so we're going to have him join us and give us his thoughts on it too. This video that we did, we shot on a location that uh, was quite something. The story behind it is this. I had been working in, in an area of West Nashville over in the Nations, if you that know Nashville know that area. And I had, for a number of weeks to months, I had driven by this uh, location. It was, a, it was on a hill at the edge of a, a, two streets, and it was a, a, a building that had been ravaged and tore down. It looked like they, they tore into it to tear it down and then stopped. But it was so compelling. Every time I went by it, I would look at it and i go, wow, that is amazing looking set. And I didn't think of it quite as a set for a video, but I kept thinking about it. Then I had the idea of doing a video for High Water kind of came together and I... Uh, I took some shots of it, I showed it to Ryan, and, and I took, showed it to Johnny, and we, we uh, talked about doing the video. We had this idea to do a video for our, for our, our, our version of a High Water Road that we were doing for, as Blind Drifter Luke, and I remember during that period of time, there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of war-related struggles going on overseas in Syria and, and that, in Libya and all that area, and um, that was kind of the, the big topic of the struggles of the world and stuff at that point. He had seen that abandoned building and that, that half-wrecked building and it, you know, it kind of had that feel to it. It kind of reminded us of like a war zone. We set up the time to do a shoot and a lot of things got in the way. But the day we actually went to shoot it, um, it was interesting. It got put off and it got put off and we, uh, we really wanted to make it happen, but it just kind of kept falling through because, you know, we had two or three three people's schedules to try to align, and we were trying to get it fit in on weekends, and it just didn't work. And and then we finally, we had like one last chance to do it. We we really wanted to get it done, so we went over there, and of course it was like a overcast day. We met together and got coffee at a, it was a nearby coffee shop, and then we went over to the shoot, and uh, it was. A little chilly and it, it it was dark and we were concerned about maybe that being an obstacle but the end, it ended up being actually a, an asset to the video hey everybody uh ryan here just wanted to hop in here and kind of give a little bit of my perspective on the uh, the high water uh, video shoot that we did a while back day of shoot we went into the location and i was immediately kind of taken aback by like the backdrop the setting um it was very war-torn um very much um looked third world um just just destructed uh complex there uh it was going to be easy to find some good shots um in my mind um and it and it served to be true um when we first got there we walked around picked out about five or six locations right off the bat and started filming um I really like was wanting to put the emphasis on the shots when I was framing them up on the on the backdrop. Um, I found it to be sort of the main character um, in in these shots. We we got over there, you know, we were trying to set up angles and we're trying to figure out where we're going to do stuff. And we did a couple hours over there, and we did some cool stuff with. Um, we ended up, you know did some shots outside and in the doorways of the, of the part that was still standing. And then we went into the building where it was pitch black and we set up lights and we had a projector projecting, you know, images of, 
some war footage and stuff like this. And we, it was a really cool, had this really intense feeling to it to be there. I think we found some cool stages for them to be on. Um, yeah, so um, we were planning on filming into the into the night. So we did bring some lighting that we had lying around. And um, in retrospect, now going back and looking at it, it's really neat to see the backdrop kind of um, disappear throughout the day and the characters be the ones left. It's kind of a hindrance to have the rain about us, but uh, it actually ended up kind of adding to the ambiance and the whole overcast and the destroyed building. It kind of, it's all symbolic, but it also was referring to the stuff going on in Syria and stuff. It was just um, kind of just added a more powerful presence to the whole thing. It was only afterwards that we really realized how providential it all was because the weather added to the drama of the site that we were shooting at. I felt very, very, very much like a play um, with the, the ending, um, I guess the ending out, uh, like the speech at the end of a scene where um, before the curtains closed, it was, kinda, it was just neat and, and metaphorical to me in to some way, uh, in some degree there. So all the obstacles actually became a, a part of the creative process and in the end really helped the effect of, of the video itself. It ended up being a really cool experience and, and a, a very fitting experience for the song that we were doing it for because the way it turned out was just kind of right place, right time. And the weird thing about the timing is that we learned like I think it was literally like a day or two after we did this, they ended up destroying the whole building. So we like, we almost missed our window to do this, this amazing video and like have this cool atmosphere to, to fit the struggles of the song. You know, it's one of those cool moments in life where the stars align and they don't align in the way you think they're going to. Um, and it, it seems like a hindrance and a problem at the time that you're just trying to overcome. Like even within doing the video, we, you know, oh, it's starting to rain. Like, oh no, we gotta, gotta get inside. Let's do some stuff inside. And it seemed like a problem, but then it ended up adding that much more to the whole feel of everything. Um, the song I'd, I'd been familiar with my whole life, uh, having been written by my dad, you know, it's, it's kind of embedded in the memory. High Water Road's always been one of my favorite songs. I've heard it, I've heard it for years and years, most of my life, and uh, it was always one that stuck out to me. It it's just got such a strong message, and it's a it's a message that anybody can relate to. It's it's about perseverance. You know, it's about overcoming the tough roads that we all go through. This song I wrote. Uh, 30 years ago. It's, it's, it's an old song that I wrote when I was quite young. It's a blues, it's a spiritual, it's a psalm. But it's a message that's always kind of stuck out to me and always rang true and it's a great song to go to when you're dealing with something and, and have those words kind of meet you there. The scenes that we were setting up and stuff for the shoot, um, I wasn't necessarily trying to play with the lyrics. I was just really trying to use what we had. And I think it ended up working out pretty well and serving the song. We thank you for joining us. So we're going to show you the location video that we shot. And we'll follow that by the original audio acoustic version of High Water Road. And uh, we hope you enjoy that. We want to thank you first. Thank you for joining us. The Meeting Underground can now be found at Facebook at Stage Coup Records. And in our post, you'll see at the bottom a link that can take you to YouTube. And you can watch uh, a playlist of all of the episodes. All of the episodes, which now including this, will make 34. We hope you enjoy them. We thank you for uh, your support. Here's the uh, high water video, Blind Director Luke. Thank you.
no turning back At the horizon there's a whirlwind of heat It's so surprising that I'm still on my feet I cry more Hear me long Surrounds me as I walk in this high water road. Storm winds have found me and I can't catch my breath. The devil hounds me, but I'm doing my best. Far out behind me, I see torrential rains. While up ahead, I just see more of the same. But I cry, Lord, save my soul. Storm winds have found me, and I walk in this high water road. Gotta keep on walking.
trouble surrounds me as I'm walking this high water road. Storm winds have found me and I can't catch my breath. The devil hounds me, but I'm still doing my best. Far out behind me I see torrential rain. Well up ahead, I just see more of the same, and I cry. Save my soul. Storm winds have found me as I walk in this high water road. These waters and I pass through these flames. I won't be shaken, no, I won't bear no shame. All those around me I see fall at my side. Well, I press on harder and I won't lose my stride, cause I cry low. found me as I'm walking this high water road Trouble surrounds me as I'm walking this high water